today we're finally back here in Hunting Sim 2 again, and I wanted to come back to Roosevelt Forest because we had a good hunt here last time, but we only managed to get the one new trophy for the lodge, and it was actually our first kill with that mature mule deer buck, so I think I mentioned at the end of the video that I wanted to maybe try getting a shotgun and doing a bit of bird hunting, so I did that, and I really like this one. We'll probably show it like in the store so you can see it a bit better, but it's a camo semi-automatic 12 gauge, and I think 12 gauge is the only uh, shotgun gauge you can get in the game right now, but... Yeah, um, there's a little pond here, pretty much right outside the lodge, and I figured we'd give that a shot, see if we can maybe get some ducks or geese or kind of just whatever's landed there, and then we'll probably do a bit more big game hunting because I had a good time chasing the bears and everything, just nothing that we got was actually big enough for the lodge. Go figure. Literally without even trying. There's just a moose walking across over there. I mean, we'll see if we can get him. Yeah, we actually did as well. To be honest, I didn't think I'd get it because I've struggled with shooting moose and I haven't played the game in a week and a half or so, but yeah, I mean, that's going to get us a ton of cash. He's not a trophy one, and I don't think, like, the regions matter. As far as I know, like, a moose on Europe goes on the same plaque as a moose shot here, so the one that we have in the lodge is good, and uh, yeah, I mean, we'll take, like, 4,000 more credits. I mean, that pretty well pays for the shotgun, even though the shotgun's not actually what did it. He actually landed in a kind of cool spot. I might screenshot that with the dog there and, like, this background and everything. I do think, actually, I'm going to have to stay in this camera, too, because the shotgun aiming is weird to begin with and slow. But I can hear some birds over there. We're just going to go ahead and get a quick screenshot of those two. And we'll just uh, kind of see what we got here. That's an adult one. We made a good long shot and uh, got that lead right. But, yeah, got some stuff over here that we'll kind of sneak into, and I don't really know, like how far I can shoot or what I should do because I didn't do this at all in the early version of the game we got to play so we'll kind of just see what happens oh okay I think I'm kind of learning how you're supposed to hunt them so there are colors for these and I just never really saw them ever flying over water before I'd only see them on the water and then obviously flying away when they spook but maybe we should actually have the colors for now we'll just kind of see if we can manage to get some of these and then maybe when we go to the Meadows map, because that's kind of the plan for the second half of this hunt, we'll actually uh, get the colors and see if that makes a difference. Like, I feel like that's a little too far away where they're flying. These ones, though, might be good. Goodness, that's slow. Oh, gosh. I need, like, my DPI way up to try to get them. Yeah, trying to follow them is a bit of a pain. We got the one, I think. I'm not really sure where it ended up, but hopefully the dog can maybe help us. Oh, it's actually in the water right there. Um, I can't seem to get any closer even than this. Oh, uh, that's how that works. Okay, cool. I kind of wondered if the dogs could help you out with the birds. I'm not sure if it's just like a, uh, a thing when they're in the water or not. That's actually really cool. Alright, um, that's just an adult goose, so we probably won't end up keeping that. But, hi, yeah. I mean, since these ones are, for some reason, still here, I guess we'll see if they'll fly our way. Ooh, those ones actually just landed nice and close, so I want to get the mallard. I think that's just close enough. Am I allowed to do that? I guess so. Ooh. Alright, we hit the other one twice, we're just going to get fined for that, and I don't know that we're going to make enough money. But, I do want to see. Can I just send the dog out from anywhere? And just have him go retrieve? That's actually cool, I wondered how that worked, so... Maybe I just didn't realize you could do that. But I did try just like the tiniest bit of bird hunting on the Meadows map, and... They just landed in the water and I couldn't reach them, but I guess the issue was I didn't realize I could send the dog to get them. And the animations are actually, like, solid for that. I didn't really expect them to be that good. So that one's just another adult. I'm kind of hoping, like, something out of this that we just shot is going to be big enough to actually uh, throw in the trophy lodge. And hopefully we can just go and do some big game hunting after that. These ones are actually flying pretty close again. It's still a little bit weird, like, trying to keep up with them. Hit that one, but we got two more. I think maybe they landed... Nah, they're in the water. I thought they might have landed out further away. So that's something we can hopefully get used to. 
but our mallard was just a young one, the one we shot off the water, and we'll keep on having him retrieve. But I saw his expertise going up just fetching, so that's actually a good thing, because I don't have him do a lot of tracking, and that's one of the things that actually does increase the expertise's uh, tracking, so this is actually another good way to do it. I didn't realize this is just sitting right here for us. That is a mature one, so I do want to keep that. Um, how I'm going to remember which, I'm not sure. But then we can get this one, which was also mature. So whichever one of those scores higher. And still got a couple of geese out there that he can hopefully get for us. Then that was just a young goose. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's just one more out there. that we can probably get that. Maybe. There we go. Uh, did I hit that one earlier in the hunt? Go fetch. That would be my guess. But, I mean, I guess... Oh. That's really cool. So they don't only retrieve them from the water. They'll retrieve them, I guess, from anywhere. And I hope that works with, like, rabbits and stuff, too. Because that was something I was hoping to maybe get to go after a bit, was the rabbits. And I would think they'd be really hard to find, so that's going to be useful. And actually, that one was a mature one, so that worked out quite nicely. We'll have two new trophies as far as the birds go, and I'm actually kind of curious to see where they go in the lodge. But we may head back, just so I don't get confused with everything, and then like claim them and swap to the 243. Although maybe I want to keep the shotgun and refill the ammo, like if we find a turkey or something. I think I'd like to go for that, so I think that'll be the plan. Was that a sheep up there? I didn't know there were sheep on this map, but I think that's what that icon was. Yeah, it is. All right then, well, I'm not sure if those will be the same species because I feel like I had two sheep actually mounted in the lodge before and now I'm kind of questioning what I said about the moose, but if this guy is mature, I'd like to take him and maybe see what happens with that. Before I uh, would mount that if he is, I'll go and look at the video, but I'm almost certain that I had two different sheep in the lodge, and I think the only way I could have done that would be, like, one from the Meadows map and one from Texas. Okay, so that one's just an adult, so at least we don't have to worry about that for the moment. But I do want to go back and look, because I'm almost sure that I had two sheep kind of, like, across from each other. But that wasn't a bad deal. We managed to get two big game animals just kind of, like, while going for the ducks and stuff. Now, there should have been two mallards. This is going to be the young one. Seven? Did ducks live to 17 years old? Is that a thing? The scores are the same. This one's older and slightly lighter. I mean, I think we'll keep the older one. I feel like there's no way ducks could possibly live to be 17 years old, but I truly don't know. And then this goose is 19. If you guys know, uh... Let me know in the comments, I'm very curious about that. But, uh, I think we're selling everything else here. And then we'll grab more ammo for the shotgun, and I guess for the 30 out 6 and we'll head back out. Can I hit that pheasant from that range? Oh my goodness. I didn't think that was gonna work, alright. I think that was a pheasant. I'm not 100% sure, but I can't imagine what else it would've been. See, it's a good thing I had the dog, because it apparently landed in the middle of the water, and I couldn't see it. That was actually a mature one as well. 80 meters away, just complete luck, to be 100% honest. And, uh, got our trophy pheasant, so nice. Ooh, no way. Alright, I've wanted to get a turkey ever since I realized they were in this game. I'm not really sure if we can get close enough. That said, I mean, we just smoked a pheasant at... 80, so we shouldn't have to get a whole lot closer. He's actually just right there. Moving kind of quickly, I figured I'd switch back to this view just so we could have an easier time trying to aim. Man, they go fast, and I don't know what that is. Is that another one? Something walking in there behind him. Now he's actually coming towards us. There is no turkey caller, so we can't really rely on that. That is another turkey. Oh, okay. Didn't get that one. Oh yeah, we actually did get that one. Alright, now two things. I wanted to know if the dog could retrieve turkey, and it looks like it can. Now what I want to see is what that actually looks like. I don't know if, I guess maybe the first one spooked from us, but that really couldn't have gone any better for another one to just randomly appear and then 
somehow we managed to actually smoke it. But he kind of just grabs them by the neck, so that doesn't look bad. Got an adult one out of him. Maybe the other one we got is going to be a little bit bigger. Jeez, okay. Just throw that one at me. What the heck? There's another one there. That's just a young one. Um, I think it was flying, if I had to guess. Because that, yeah, that was really high up. I see him there. Didn't hit that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the shotguns are a little bit overpowered in this game, I would say. But one more chance at a mature one, I guess. 92 meters. I'm not sure really how possible that would be. But interesting to say the least. But anyway, this wasn't meant to really be so focused on small game. I was planning on really focusing more on that when we go to the Meadows map, but for some reason it's just working out right now. How are there so many of them all of a sudden? I've hunted this map a reasonable amount and never had any. And that's now the fourth one. We're going to try to get it. I mean, I'd like to get one in the lodge actually and see what they look like up close. Oh, he's all the way out there. Alright, just for fun. I'm not sure if we even hit him the first time, but the second one got him. There we go, that one's actually mature as well, but go figure, I can't hit them just walking across the ground, but I can apparently get them once they start to fly. I think every one actually it took at getting in the air to kill it. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to try that shot at 80 meters because I knew we could kill them further. And I don't know if I even did hit it. But uh, we got a turkey for the lodge, so that's cool. So we made it here to the campsite, and I think we're just going to go ahead and fast travel back and actually head to the meadows. I really didn't think we'd be doing that with two total big game animals out of the forest map, but we got a lot of small game trophies for the lodge. And I wanted to get to the meadows for kind of like a wide open opportunity at elk, and then like some of the small game like coyotes and bobcats that we haven't gotten to go for. But I believe we're saving this one, and then it should be the fourth turkey. Yeah, this guy. He's 103 and the first one was 95, so at least we're actually getting like the highest scoring one we got. And then everything else we got, I think we can sell. And we'll go ahead and head back and kind of see how all that looks. That's actually kind of cool. They have the goose kind of just suspended from one of the beams up there. And the duck's just over on top of this. Kind of like that pose, but where are the uh, turkey and pheasant that we shot? Oh, okay, so I noticed these in one of the other videos, and I was wondering, like, if it was a place to mount different animals. Because there's a bunch of them. And I guess things like bobcat and coyotes and stuff maybe are going to go on them. But the models for those are decent. I would say the turkey's probably a little bit too small. Just like going off the size of the pheasant. But not too bad. Cool to get those ones out of the way. But uh, I think we're good on licenses. We did fill our moose license, but we don't really need that for the meadows. There's none there. So let's go see what we can find in a more open map. Oh. I didn't realize the geese on this map were different. So I grabbed the 243 so I could actually go for bobcats and stuff, but maybe we'll quickly get the shotgun and see if we can manage to get a mature one of those. I'm kind of surprised they're still here, to be honest. I didn't realize there were any that close. So that is the same type of goose. And then, what are these? That's what we have in the lodge, so I guess we want these. I am shocked that they just hung out there. Can't... Quite get those ones. Huh. Guess we'll just be happy with the two we got then. While he's fetching those though, there's another little pond right here, I think. Oh, right over there. We're just gonna go see if we can flush any out of there and get them. That is not the same, like, animal logo thing as what we just shot, so I'm not sure if it's a different duck. Maybe there's mallards on this map. I really don't know what they have. But I figured we might as well give it a look. Those look different, too. And they haven't spooked yet, so I guess we'll kind of try to decide what we need. That's definitely a mallard. Is this a mallard? Doesn't look like. I think that's some other kind of duck that is not letting me spot. Yeah, it's a teal. Alright, well. Might as well try to get a couple of them, I guess. Where did you put my 
goose that I didn't consider. All right, we'll find that in a minute. Um, let's switch to a view where we can see better. We'll try to get these two, I guess. And if there's any others that look different, maybe these lower ones. I am just not really good on this map, at least. Hit it. Hit it twice. And uh, out of bullets. Can I stop a reload? I can't, so I guess we're just getting two here as well. Fetch. So that's one. And wait. That's the goose. So I think maybe he just picked up the same one again. Fetch. I don't know Bring if they can do that, but that's what it seems like. But then that two is just a young one. And then hopefully are the ones Fetch. maybe going to be better for the lodge. And I'm guessing the other goose species that we shot one of is going to be like the thing that goes on the opposite beam. So I'd love for the other one that we have to actually be a mature one and kind of complete that. But one of our teal was actually mature, so that's good to see. One of the two that we actually managed to hit is one for the lodge. That, I think, is an elk. I don't think that's the big rack. I'm still struggling to really tell. But I'm pretty sure there's another bird for him to go get, and then we'll kind of scoot over that way. And our other goose is just a young one. And I was wondering, actually, you can shoot the female ones for the birds, so that's cool to see. But the elk are actually just kind of walking across over here. And I think, even though the reeds are kind of in our way, we'll just go ahead and take him there. Was that a... I don't think I've dropped an elk before. Must have been a heart shot, but that was kind of cool. Hello. Um. Hit it anyway. That's the teal again, so we're not too worried about that, but that should be doable. Surely. Yeah. My DPI is back to what I'd want it for shooting things that aren't birds, but I managed to stay with that one. And just a little adult female. But then our elk, maybe that is actually the bigger antlers for them. Just an adult one, but it was a nice heart shot. I think we have like a 170 something or 180 something in the lodge, so I definitely want to compare the scores there, but we're going to go back and grab the 243, and we'll have that if any bobcats or coyotes show up, because I do want to make sure we do things other than bird hunting. Well, that guy's walking right at us and with a very creepy face. I think that's going to be our 243. How on earth was that not a hard shot? And then whatever we hit there, I guess, <laughs> go figure. Uh, I think another one actually called out there like that it was spooking. So if this one's not good enough, we may go look for that. Guess we'll have Jax come over here and find that first, though. What does that do? Flush him out. Oh, flush. Is that a skill he just unlocked? I've never seen that before. But anyway, uh, I guess he's going to do that. This was just a young one, which... There's no way that first shot could have been lungs and not been a kill shot. I think. So somehow that was brain and lung, maybe? I'm not really sure about that one. And then that's going to be the other bobcat that I saw. So we'll try to get in a little bit closer and maybe try to bring him down in one less shot. Also, there's a coyote there, so let's maybe get in this tower so we can see better. Because that's something I haven't shot yet either. Okay, he's just walking along there, and it is a male. Let's see if we can do better with this. Yeah, that's perfect. And then the bobcat's actually far, far enough away didn't hear that. So I don't know. I mean, it's walking this way. Maybe it's best we just wait. And I think I have a predator collar. So whether or not it's in range to hear it, I don't know. But maybe. Okay, so he's calling there at like 170. So I was just thinking we were maybe under 200 from him. And I feel like anything under 200, the rifle shoot pretty flat, so that's kind of what I'd try to go for. But the grass kind of goes down a bit there. Man. Apparently bobcats are the most difficult species to hit. Can't even hit him again. Alright, well. We may need to go follow that one. But our dog found the coyote for us. And just, if I had to compare the size of the dog to the size of the coyote, this can't be a big one. It is an adult, 
But there's probably a bigger model then. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to manage to even find that bobcat again, but we'll kind of go that direction. Is that... How the heck did I just run that close and then still not get it? Is that the same one? Yeah, that's what the issue was. He was wounded. I didn't even think that was him, to be honest. I thought that one was long gone. But uh, at least we got him. We used up the last of our bullets to accomplish that. It does look big, though. Good job. So maybe? Eh, just an adult one. I don't even know what happened on that, but... Uh, we're out of rounds. There's a tent uh, right there, a campsite, I should say. So we'll probably head back. And I'd say we're just going to end up calling this a video because we've actually ended up getting a ton of stuff. And we did get a new teal for the lodge anyway. Hello. Um, I mean... I guess for the quick money, if there's a fox walking around literally right there, and if I use the right weapon anyway, can I like hit him in the head? I don't know if that's actually what I got, but that worked. So even one more little bonus kill, and that was a brain shot. I didn't really think we'd manage to get that, but that's kind of cool. So all that's taken care of now, getting the teal in here and selling everything else, but That'll actually look pretty cool. I assume there's another duck species probably on the marsh map in Europe. And that'll be pretty neat. But I had mentioned the bighorn. I'm pretty sure another one goes here. And I have to think we have to get that off of the Rocky Mountains map. But if you guys know, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. And I can know for sure if I'm accidentally replacing this sheep or just getting a new one uh, on that side of the wall. But yeah, five new trophies today. All were birds. We got the goose, the two ducks. Then the turkey and pheasant in here, and that does actually start to fill up the lodge a lot more. Still tons of wall plaques to fill, but that's cool. So next time we'll either head to Europe, maybe try to get that other duck, and then like some of the deer species there, or we'll head back to Texas. We'll have to see kind of what's going on then, but yeah, it was actually a good hunt, and bird hunting is more fun in this game than I thought it would be. I actually enjoyed that a lot, so that's something I uh, think I may be leaning towards already for the next video. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.